What's up everyone, this is Jorge Yao again, back with another Clash of Clans video. Now in this series, I kind of wanted to highlight some defensive wins and defensive losses. So uh, I wanted to kind of vary my content up a little bit and not just post Road to Legends. Now this is kind of related to Push to Legends, but I really wanted to focus on uh, the defensive aspect of this game. So in this case, you can see I've had four defensive wins in a row, uh, and this was last season, end of last season, throughout the season. I had four defenses in a row. Now I recorded this at 50% speed, so you guys can kind of see while I commentate. But uh, I wanted to showcase this base because it is a really strong base. Um, not so much anymore, so I don't recommend using it right now. But as you can see, this base is kind of common. I'm sure many of you have seen it before already. Uh, I wanted to showcase one of the, the wins that I had on this base when I was above 4,800. Now, ironically, this base actually was used or is still maybe used by a lot of Quantum's web members. And uh, so it is a pretty strong base, but you know, as you use more bases, you know, last week's base is basically old news, so you really want to switch up your bases quite often. Now, uh, recently, you know, this base, I've been getting two-starred a lot with it, so I, it's time for me to really change my base on this one. Now, he goes with a, a go wee, wee strategy on this one, um, you know, with the four earthquakes, which is a good strategy for this base. Now, with this base, what I found was last season, I actually had more than 10 wins with this base, which is incredible, uh, especially around 4,800 range. That's super incredible, you know, you can, that's like... You know, not one in a million shot, but it's pretty lucky to have more than 10 wins in one season, uh, especially with one base, right? And not only that, I do a lot of my uh, live streams, I do live defenses on my live Twitch streams. So people have seen this base and seen where my traps are, so um, I'm surprised that I still get defensive wins. I actually won a defense last night. It was only a plus two, and I'll do a video on that specifically because it, was, uh, it had a lot to do with greed in terms of how I won. But um, let, let's go ahead and commentate this attack. So he drops the, uh, he tries to use the wall breaks to break through the first layer of walls at the bottom at six o'clock. And then he puts a jump spell on. So he uses one golem and three, about three wizards to kind of take out some uh, buildings behind it. And now he's talking, attacking from the bottom right. Now, if he's, if he's seen my Twitch streams, he would know that attacking from the bottom right is not the best idea. And you'll see in a second why. Um, so he drops down, you know, a typical strategy, he drops down his golems, he drops down wizards behind, and then he drops down the, uh, what, what I like to call 223, I guess, from the clan castle, so his wizards, uh, witches, and then now his queen. So he's, he's down to one rage spell and one freeze spell, but as you can see, the reason why you don't want to attack from the bottom right, from my base specifically, is because I had big, two big bombs just right there and you can see all you know it took out a good amount of wizards with that first big bomb now I'm pretty happy about that now um, this base is designed to funnel troops especially wizards to one area in which case you, you just hope that it uh, your big bomb doesn't get triggered until one of the wizards or a group of wizards are there and I've seen it multiple times and I'll highlight it probably in a later video but um you know, basically, once you have like 10 wizards grouped up and they all get blown up, you're pretty, it's pretty much GG rip, you know? So, um, at this point, I'm looking pretty good, 33%, but the queen's still there, she still has her ability. The king's uh, basically dead, not dead yet, but almost dead. Uh, he's already used his ability. You have the Lava Hound um, and the CC troops and then Skeleton Traps now. So the queen's kind of doing her work, she's getting hit by the, the uh, multi-target Inferno. Um, I don't know why he dropped the poison spell there. It was kind of a little bit late. I guess she was an he was anticipating uh, the skeleton traps, but as you can see, it was kind of missed because the skeleton traps came out completely on the wrong side. So that poison spell didn't really do much. And the queen is actually going towards the town hall, so she's actually doing what she's supposed to do. She didn't wander at all, so it was actually kind of good. But the problem is, is that her ability was already used at this point, so. Um, so she's getting hit by one of the expos right now, and she has basically he has no choice and to let her die basically. But if she had the ability, she probably could have gotten to the two star um, on this base. Um, so it was actually a pretty decent attack by the Zod Cast Baby. I know I think he was uh, number one at some point in the world, but ironically, you know, I wanted to showcase this raid because um, this base is actually heavily used by Quantum Web members. I don't think it's used anymore because I think they uh, people have caught on and how to. Uh, two star this base because recently I've been getting two star a lot with this base and last season I actually didn't get two star a single time with this base 
So I won maybe two out of three defenses, and then the one loss I would have would be a barely 50% win. And that goes, uh, that, go that holds true for air attacks too with Lava Lunion. So there you go, that's the attack. Um, you know, he gets 47%, he tries to uh, pick off a few extra troops, or not troops, excuse me, buildings with his cleanup crew, and he just couldn't quite make it. So um, it, overall, it was still a really good attack, 24 wizards, you know, basically a go wee wee uh, standard strategy. But uh, again, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next defensive wins and losses video series. Catch you later, guys.